welcome back to this week's What's For Dinner. I am so excited to hang out with y'all in the kitchen and do some cooking. I feel like I have some really good, easy, delicious recipes this week that you guys are going to love. So I hope this brings you and your family some meal inspiration. And if you do make any of these, tag me in your pictures, leave me a comment, send me a message, tell me what you think. I love hearing what you guys did differently or what you thought of the recipe. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get cooking. Okay y'all, so tonight for dinner, we are gonna have a super easy and delicious delicious pork tenderloin and to go along with it we're going to do some potato wedges as well as some sauteed asparagus it is going to be so yummy and I actually got my pork tenderloin from my butcher box this month I am so excited to partner with them so a big thank you to butcher box for sponsoring today's video let me tell you a little bit more about them so ButcherBox delivers high quality meat to right to your door. And when I say high quality, I mean delicious 100% grass fed beef, free range organic chicken, heritage breed pork, and wild caught seafood. And let me just tell y'all, we already grilled the ribeye steaks that came in our box this month. And Bunky and I both agree they are some of the best steaks we have ever eaten. With ButcherBox, you get to choose your box and delivery frequency, and they offer five boxes, four curated box options, as well as the popular custom box, which is what we did. That way you can get exactly what you and your family love, and y'all know how much we love to use our grill and our smoker, so we had the best time picking out all of our meat. And y'all, ButcherBox is doing ground beef for life right now. So that means all new members will get two pounds of ground beef in every order for the lifetime of their membership. Plus shipping is always free. Talk about a deal. ButcherBox sources from farmers and fishermen who meet the highest standards of quality and they ship your order frozen at the peak of its freshness, packed in an eco-friendly 100% recyclable box. And not only do you have the convenience of it being shipped straight to your door, but also just great tasting, high quality meat that you can feel good about. ButcherBox has an unbeatable value with the average cost being less than $6 per meal and they believe in better and that means treating our planet with respect. It means caring about the lives of animals and the livelihoods of farmers and ultimately it means better meals enjoyed together. So best part is like I was saying earlier, they are doing ground beef for life right now for all of their new members. You will get two pounds of ground beef in every order for the lifetime of your membership. Plus shipping is always free. So be sure you head down to my description box and click that link. Also an insider tip is you must enter your email address to get this deal. And you'll also wanna get free shipping. So be sure you click the link below. Okay, so to season our pork tenderloin, I'm going to brush a little bit of this Dijon mustard all over it. And then, of course, we're going to use this smoky truffle seasoning because y'all know we are in love. And lots of you have said that you cannot find this. The only place I have seen it is Sam's Club. And then I'll probably add a little bit of salt and pepper as well. And then we're going to sear it on all four sides in our cast iron skillet and then pop it in the oven to finish. These are the potatoes that I'm going to use. Y'all know that I love these. I'm just going to cut them up into like little um, baby potato wedges. We'll season them really good and pop them in the air fryer. And then I'm also going to go ahead and prep our asparagus. I'm just going to cut it into like one to two inch pieces and we'll saute it in like a little bit of olive oil, butter, garlic, maybe some red pepper flakes. Does that sound really good to you? <laughs> Bucky loves asparagus. It's like... Yeah. I'm not the biggest fan. I love Brussels more, but. Oh, I'm a team asparagus. Yeah, I know you are. Um, don't you want to just like keep it though in like longer pieces? Or well, did you want to do it like we had it? What, what did we have it in, in the that, other day? In that pasta dish. I liked oh, it so much yeah. better that way. Okay. So we'll do it that way. Yep. But I'm going to let you go ahead and paint. I say paint. I'm you, have a, your, you have your paintbrush. I'm an artiste. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and let Bunky paint our... Um, Pork tenderloin. Because you know that this, I'm going to enjoy this too much. I knew you would. I knew you would. Basically, just giving this uh, smoky truffle seasoning a little something to hold on to. Yes, exactly. Now, plus, just mustard goes so well with pork. They're friends. Yeah. Like me and you. And I would say that you should use, <laughs> you're so crazy. I would say that you should use um, the Dijon. Yeah, but regular old uh, yellow, yellow mustard, mustard would, would work too. Okay. 
Bucky said it's time for Searage, so we gotta go. <laughs> yeah, we, our oil is ready in this uh, cast iron over here. Okay, so Bunky put a little bit of like canola oil in here. I can see it smoking, so you're yeah, right. It's, it's uh, shimmering. I have about a tablespoon in there. Okay. So, this should be good. And here we go. Ooh. And while that is cooking, I have the potatoes already cut. I'm gonna drizzle them with some olive oil. And then to season them, I'm gonna do some black pepper, some ranch seasoning, a little bit of Lowry season salt, and then some of this smoky truffle just to kind of carry this flavor into the potatoes as well. Okay, spend two minutes on this one side. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty fine. I like that crusty yeah, that's, color. That's gonna be great. Ooh, yeah. So it's been about five minutes. We're just gonna pop that cast iron skillet into the oven. And we're not sure how long this is gonna take. We're going, we're starting with um, eight minutes and then we'll do a meat thermometer. Okay. Meanwhile, potatoes are going into the air fryer. We'll do about 350 and we'll start with 12 minutes. Tell us, tell us your idea. Wait. This was your idea. Okay, well, it was kind of my idea. We're gonna innovate here. We're going to pull the pork tenderloin out. We're gonna put our asparagus directly in the cast iron skillet with it. With a little bit of and butter. Then, and then cook it in there. But I wanna go ahead and put a little bit of butter and a little bit of seasoning on it on before we put it back in. Yeah, go ahead and pull it out. Okay. Okay, so you put half the asparagus on each side and then I added a little butter a little black pepper, and Bucky's gonna add a little bit of garlic seasoning. This is like one pan dinner, minus the um, I know, air we, fryer. When we shoved the, uh, shoved, when we put this in the oven, I was like, no, now we gotta get another pan out to cook the asparagus, but. That worked out great. We figured it out. Okay, so game plan is that Bunky is going to um, make sure that it is the right temperature. Oh, Just do it while you're in there. Well, no, it takes a second. So we're going to take this out. We'll set it here. Okay. I'm going to stir these around. Stir that around. And we'll pop these back in for just a few more minutes. Okay, everything is done and it looks so good. I'm actually going to do a big squeeze of this lemon juice on top of our asparagus and then put a little bit of Parmesan on there. We thought that would be really yummy and delicious. And then we're going to cut open this pork tenderloin. I cannot wait. It looks so good. Friends, this is so good. The flavor on this pork. It's just a little bit of that mustard and that smoky truffle. I'm telling y'all, that is the best seasoning ever invented. But the crust, the pork, everything. Boom, that is so tender. It's so good. Did you squirt lemon juice on there or did I just drag it through some? I think you drag it through some. That was good. Y'all know when I dance, it's good. That's good stuff. Okay y'all, so tonight for dinner we are having the easiest recipe ever. And it's gonna be easy cleanup, but it's also going to be delicious. We're gonna do sheet pan shrimp fajitas. Bunky is going to love this. You guys know I don't eat shrimp, so I'm gonna make a couple pieces of chicken for myself, but I already have everything kind of prepped for us. 
All we're gonna do is toss it together, throw it on the sheet pan, and bake it in the oven. And when they come out of the oven, we're gonna squeeze some lime juice on top, add some cilantro, and I think my bunk is gonna be one happy man. So let me flip you around so we can get started. It's storming something crazy outside if you hear some thunder and lightning. But anyway, I have my shrimp here. It's peeled to vein after the tail's off. It's ready to go. And then I have my sheet pan, which I lined with tin foil for easy cleanup. I have an entire red bell pepper that I just cut into little strips, some thinly sliced red onion and then I prepped these yellow and orange bell peppers earlier in the week for our salads and like lunches but I'm just going to use some of these for the fajitas as well so we're going to toss all of this in our bowl with some olive oil and fajita seasoning and I also wanted to tell y'all if you want to do like your own seasonings you can use like cumin chili powder paprika garlic powder all of that to kind of make your own fajita seasonings I'm just going to use a packet because that is very easy to do and it has really good flavor so anyway I'm telling y'all this literally could not be any simpler. Okay, another little sprinkle of seasoning for good measure, and then we're gonna pop these in the oven at 450 for about eight to 10 minutes. Okay, and while Bunkies of Shrimp are in the oven, I'm just gonna take two pieces of chicken and the leftover of this fajita seasoning and make this for me. been about I would say 10 to 12 minutes so I'll let it cook for a little bit longer Ooh. oh my bonk. don't they look so good oh wow that is a tray of fun <laughs> and then I have um Bunky's lime juice squeeze on top and his cilantro Hey, try, try one of the shrimp, like Just by itself. Straight up shrimp bite? Yeah. It's surprisingly very well cooked. Oh, okay, I'm glad. I was afraid that it might be a little bit, um, like, overdone, you know? Uh -huh. Shrimp is very temperamental. Uh-huh. It's actually very good. Tell them what you made. Bunny created his own little concoction over here. Um, I'm calling this my doctored up dairy drizzle crema crema and it's also it's just sour cream and a little bit of uh that green tabasco green tabasco and then i put a little dash of the fajita, fajita excuse me you call it pepper to the back of the throat <clears throat> yeah surprisingly <laughs> that bell pepper had a little bit of spice to it all right here comes the drizzle boo here's little pieces of uh cilantro on here Mm -hmm. This is like your heart's desire of I a mean, meal. If this is as good as it looks, which I've already tasted it, so I know it's going to be, I don't know why we have never, ever found so one on easy. This. It's amazing. Woo! I'm in heaven. <laughs> this was the easiest meal ever. It literally took like 15 minutes total. Mm. This is really, really good. Yay! And eat and simple, so, just like you said. Yes. I do recommend making this little concoction, though. This is very simple. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make mine now. Shrimp and chicken fajitas is what's for dinner tonight. Okay. Bunky doesn't know that I'm telling you this, but the second best part of this meal, aside from how delicious it was, which was the best part, the second best part is you just take this 
and you dump that juice out. I, I didn't move the camera to show you that, I'm sorry. And then you, um, hold please. Then oh. you got your uh, leftovers in there. And then. Tell us what we are having for dinner tonight. <laughs> tonight for dinner, we are having a most delicious pan-seared chicken with pesto, tomato, wait, pesto and the tomato slices, mm -hmm. and then a cheesy mozzarella topping, and roasted broccoli, and rice pilaf. Okay, this was so fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yes, exactly what Bunky said. And y'all know we've made this recipe um, a couple of times. It's literally the simplest recipe. I feel like this week's What's For Dinner is like all about easy. And um, we're gonna do it a little bit different. We don't have chicken breast, we have the tenderloins. But that's okay because we're gonna just cook them all in the cast iron skillet. We've been using this a lot. Yeah. It's become like our new best friend. Yeah, we. it's, it's, it's a new, well, you know, cast iron's obviously been around for hundreds of years. Yes. But it's new to us. It's new to the bunkies. So we're going to um, cook our chicken in there. That way they have like kind of a sear and a crust because we don't love baked chicken that much, you know? No. I think baked chicken. Sometimes. It depends on what it is. But yeah. we think it'll be good in there with the crust. Then after it's almost done cooking, we'll um, cut the tomato slices, put those on the pesto, cover it in mozzarella, and then bake it in the oven. Let all of that melt. We're also going to put our broccoli in there and then I'll get our rice pilaf cooking. This is going to be so good. Yeah, when you just described, I think this, whatever happens in this pan yes. is going to be delicious. Yes. I just, I don't know. I, I'm not sure how to explain this. I just don't know if, if you're not cutting your broccoli upside down, like so. You're doing it wrong? <laughs> well, I'm not going to say you're doing it wrong, but you're causing yourself more trouble. That is actually really smart. Right? Is, nah. this, is this one of your other techniques that you learned from Guy Fieri? <laughs> no, I think I've actually like always done this. I've just never really thought to share it with the people. Uh-huh. What but size? You know, all of those very small. Uh, You're going to cut oh, them up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna use a little bit of this roasted garlic and herb seasoning on the chicken while it's cooking on the cast iron skillet. We'll add some more in a moment. How's that? That's good. Chicken is very well seared on both sides and pretty much almost done cooking all the way through, but you know, yeah, it'll still keep cooking in there. Mm -hmm. So Bunky is going to generously pour some pesto all over the top of this, then we'll layer the tomato and the mozzarella. Woo! I'm getting excited, boo. I know, it's gonna be so good. The mouth jets are going. <laughs> and normally, y'all, we just put this in a baking dish, and a lot of times we'll use like chicken breast. But I think this is going to work out just fine with the tenderloins. Yeah, because what I'm excited for is all of the goodies that in the bottom, you know? Mm hmm. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay, popping this into the oven till basically all of this just like melts and gets ooey gooey, amazing, delicious, and and you want the tomatoes to soften. Yes, and I just feel like whatever's gonna be happening in the bottom here is going to be so good. Yeah. I'm putting some pepper on top, by the way. And 
It's Don't touch our handle. Oh, oh yeah, it's still real hot. Broccoli is done, rice is almost done, and we feel like our chicken's oh. done. We put it under the broiler for just a second. Oh, wow, Bunky. Chummy. Wow, <laughs> that looks so good. I'm, oh think, I'm thinking I like this version of this better better than what we normally do. I agree, I agree. And y'all y'all ignore our good little pile over there. <laughs> to, be, to be determined. Though. Yes, we'll let you know. It really is. Like it's still wow, super tender. That is... I wish I could show you all my cheese oh. pull. This is... It won't focus. This is indulgent. Oh my gosh. You love it? Is it very hot? You know. Yeah. Pesto is like... It's magical. Look at this cheesification. Mm-hmm. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. That's what the cast iron does for you. Mm-hmm. Pesto punch. Yeah, and pesto is not something that I would normally think I would love, but I do. It's so good. I love a warm tomato. Mm-hmm. You always said that. Oh, it's so Mm. Okay, tonight's dinner, 10 out of 10 recommend. Winner, winner, chicken, pesto, mozzarella dinner. Yes. Okay, y'all, so that's going to do it for this week's What's for Dinner. But thank you so much for hanging out with us in the kitchen. I hope you had a great time. And a big thank you to ButcherBox for sponsoring today's video. Be sure y'all head down to that link so you can get free ground beef for life. That is an incredible deal. And I'm telling you, they have the best meat Ever. It is so delicious. But if this is your first time stopping by, be sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.